Hello friends, hope you're all doing good. So in this video, let us discuss about 25 clinical signs in obstetrics and gynecology. This is a part of medical PG tidbits, the new playlist we have launched. Okay, and let us go into the topic now. So this is a common topic asked in all the exams like various exams. So among the various uh, around 20, 20, 20 to 25 signs, like at least one sign is asked in each exam. Uh, so be with me like we'll cover all the important topics which are asked in NEET PG uh, like uh, the tables and the lists in medical PG tidbits. So we are going premium soon wherein like uh, for the premium students like we are launching the medical PG app in the mobile. So you will have all the one liners in hand like uh, whenever you are free uh, at least half an hour a day you can watch medical PG one liners and medical PG tidbits. So that all the one-liners and the keywords will be in your hands. Once the keywords are in your hands, even if it's a big clinical question, you can answer. Okay, trust me. So uh, let us go to the topic now. Uh, bagel sign. Bagel sign uh, is ultrasonographic sign. That is US sign. That is just gestational sac in the adnexa with hyperechoic ring. Okay. Ball sign. Ball sign means radiological sign of intrauterine fetal death. Okay. In this x-ray shows up crumpled up spine of the fetus. Okay, uh, the next one is banana sign. Banana sign is also a US sign that is ultrasound sign. It is seen in open spina bifida. It shows abnormal anterior curvature of the cerebellum due to the associated ornal cherry malformation. Next, next one comes Chadwick sign. Chadwick sign is also called as Jacquemus sign. So what is Jacquemus sign or Chadwick sign? It is bluish hue due to the uh, increased uh, blood flow in the pelvic organs during pregnancy okay it is seen in uh, the bluish hue is seen in vestibule at the anterior vaginal wall okay what is Cullen sign Cullen sign is bluish discoloration of skin around the umbilicus it occurs due to the intraperitoneal hemorrhage seen in ruptured ectopic pregnancy what is double bubble sign it is useful in prenatal diagnosis of duodenal atresia so it is seen in duodenal atresia okay duodenal atresia usually presents with polyhydramnios and produces dilatation of the stomach and first part of the duodenum now double decidual sac sign it is normal ultrasonographic appearance of intrauterine gestational sac okay you have to get uh, uh, familiar with both double bubble sign and double decidual sac sign if it's a double decidual sac it is normal okay it is seen as a two concentric echogenic ring separated by hyperechoic space what is goodell sign goodell sign is nothing but uh, softening of the cervix okay in contrast to non-pregnant state it's also due to increased blood flow what is hagar sign hagar sign is an indication of pregnancy softening of the lower parts of the uterus enables approximation of vaginal and abdominal fingers during bimanual pelvic examination so the vaginal finger is placed in the posterior fornix and the abdominal hand is pressed down behind the address that is a procedure okay this approximation is called Hagar sign what is Kushner sign Kushner sign is the sign of placental separation on pushing the address upwards it does not move with the cord so and it is due to separation okay uh, Ladin sign what is Ladin sign Ladin sign is softening in the middle of the address anteriorly at the junction of the address and cervix it occurs at about six weeks of gestation Lambda sign. What is lambda sign? Ultrasonic. Uh, this is also ultrasonographic sign seen in dichorionic pregnancies due to chorionic tissue which comes in between the two layers of the membrane between the twins. Okay. What is lemon sign? A lemon sign is ultrasound sign again. It is seen in open spina, spina bifida. Okay. Uh, it shows like uh, abnormal anterior curvature of the cerebellum. And again, it is associated with Arnold Chari malformation. What is Oceander sign? Oceander sign is pulsations in the lateral fornix due to increased vascularity. Palmer sign. Palmer sign is regular rhythmic contractions of the uterus felt uh, at around 6 to 8 weeks. Okay, it is also a sign of normal pregnancy. What is Piscasex sign? Piscasex sign is an asymmetric growth that occurs uh, 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 like uh, as asymmetric growth of the uterus during the initial stages of the pregnancy due to lateral implantation of the blastocyst 
the area of the implantation feels soft compared to the other parts okay robert sign robert sign radiological sign of intraton fetal death it is an x-ray sign actually it shows the presence of gas in the fetal uh, great vessels this is the earliest sign of intraton fetal death okay schroder sign schroder sign is it's a uh, sign of placental separation it just rises up when the separated placenta is passed downwards okay what is spalding sign Spalding sign is the sign of intrauterine fetal death. There is overlapping of the skull, skull bones after the fetal uh, demise. It is also ultrasound sign. Stalworthy sign. Stalworthy sign is the slowing of fetal rate on pressing the fetal head down into the pelvis and a prompt recovery on release of the pressure. Okay, this is called Stalworthy sign. This sign is suggestive of posterior placenta failure. Stuck twin sign. What is stuck twin sign? It is seen in twin to twin transfusion syndrome. It is due to severe oligohydromnias. Smaller held is uh, smaller twin is held in fixed position along the uterine wall. This is called stuck twin sign. Okay. What is T sign? This is also ultrasound sign and it is seen in monochorionic twins. Okay. So T sign is seen in monochorionic twins twins as the intertwin membrane does not have any chorionic tissue it gives rise to t sign in the ultrasound next what is tactile sign tactile sign is failure of restitution seen in shoulder dystocia okay uh, von braun fenwald sign what is it von braun fenwald sign irregular softening and enla enlargement of the uterine fundus during early pregnancy it occurs around 5 to 8 weeks of gestation Crash sign. This is a new sign. So uh, I have covered new signs where, wherever possible. So the posterior displacement of the mesencephalon and deformation again is the occipital bone in the axial view. It is called crash sign. So crash sign is a new first trimester sign seen in open spina bifida. Okay. So this is all. So this covers 25 clinical signs in obstetrics and gynecology so so please follow uh, medical pg channel okay uh, this as i promised uh, you guys i'll be covering uh, one liner videos whenever possible one liners are very very important not to be neglected as uh, said by many people it will be converted into clinically oriented exam all those kinds okay that that will continue at the same time keywords and one liners are very important okay um, so don't uh, forget to subscribe medical pg like the video comment if anything so that like i can know the feedback how uh, useful the videos are and it will be encouraging for me to do the next video and share the video with your friends okay and good luck to you guys thank you